After the inguinal approach was made in this cryptorchid, we found a prominent vaginal process in the inguinal extension of the gubernaculum. The epididymis, or the ligaments associated with it, can be palpated within the vaginal tunic. After incising the vaginal tunic, we grasped the white cord-like tissue, which in this case turned out to be the ligament of the tail of the epididymis and the tail of the epididymis. Here we are placing traction on a long proper ligament in hopes of exteriorizing the testicle from the abdomen. The vaginal ring is too small for the testicle to come through, so we will use Metzenbaum scissors to enlarge the ring slightly. Eventually, after enlarging the vaginal ring, the testicle comes through. With the testicle up, you can see the long proper ligament connecting the tail of the epididymis to the testicle. Long proper ligaments are common in horses with incomplete abdominal cryptorchidism. The testicle can then be removed routinely. Because we enlarge the vaginal ring, we also need to close the superficial inguinal ring before recovery.